Hey guys, today I'll be teaching you the Y perm. So, there's two moves you should know before you do this algorithm. Um, one of them is the sexy move, which is um, R, U, R prime, U prime, and how you finger trick that is um, just hold the cube normally, like three fingers on the back, one on the front, then turn this hand, um, turn this your right hand once like this, and then you lift the the right layer up, then with your right pointer finger, you flick it across and then turn your whole hand down again and then you flick the top layer across with your left hand. So I'll show you what that looks like at speed. And if you perform the sexy move six times, then the cube should solve itself. Alright, and the next move you should know is a sledgehammer. I'm pretty sure I showed this move in my, um, I don't know where I showed this move, maybe in my how to solve a Rubik's Cube um, tutorial, but basically it's when you're inserting an F2L pair. So if this is the pair, these two blocks, then instead of just inserting it normally, like lifting this up, moving this across and bringing it back down. A sledgehammer is used for when the color facing you is matching up with this side. Then you'd um, insert it with a sledgehammer which is R prime F R F prime. So how to perform that is so this time instead of so this is the standard grip for a cube. Instead of turning your right hand this way, for like for the sexy move, um, you turn your left hand like that. And then what I do is I, some people move the right hand down, but I like to think of it of moving both of these, like these two um, layers up. And then I do a U. Um, R prime, sorry, yeah, no, a U, uh, R, and a U prime. So like this. Yeah, so those are the two um, algorithms you should know for the Y perm. So let's just look at the Y perm. So the first part is, I'll just... I'll leave the algorithm down below. So this is the first part. F R U prime R prime U prime R U R prime F prime. And then you just perform sexy and sledge. Sexy move and then sledge. So I'll show you how I finger trick the first part with all the Fs. So um, how I do this is, um, so you just start with the F, again standard grip, except this time you move um, your right hand forward like this, then you do the F with your pointer, turn your whole hand like this, U prime with your left pointer finger, turn your whole hand back down, another U prime with your left finger, turn your whole right hand back up, U with your pointer finger and then turn your whole right hand back down and then I do the F with my thumb like this the F prime with my thumb so I'll show you that again so F up U prime down U prime up U down and then thumb F prime and then sexy and sledge so that's all you need to know about how to finger trick that algorithm. So to recognize this, um, to recognize this algorithm, 
Um, what I look for is see these two corners, how they're in the right spot. Usually when these two corners are in the right spot, if you rotate the cube twice, or just once like this, or if you're on this side twice, then you'll be in this position to perform it. So you want, um, you want to see like see how both of these phases are nearly complete, except for this um, corner. You want to have the incomplete corner on the right side, so not this way, because this is on the left side. On the right side, like this, and that's how you perform it. Um, so, so to know you have a Y perm, you see these two are complete and these two are opposite, like in the Z perm. Orange needs to switch with the blue, those two need to switch. And these two corners need to switch. So one, two, one, two. And I guess that kind of looks like a Y. Like these two need to switch and these two need to switch. I don't know. That's why they call it a Y perm. And then, yeah, so then you just make sure the corner is on your right side and perform the algorithm. Also I said before if these faces are nearly complete but just make sure that you know that even if it's like this see how these two are on the matching face yeah so if there's two colors then you, that's also how you know it's a Y perm and these two are also still the same. Also, a cool thing about the Y perm, the first part of the Y perm, let's see if I can get to there. Alright, so you can actually use the first part of the Y perm, so the whole Y perm minus the sexy move and the sledgehammer to perform this OLL. So if there's a four block here and a white in the corner and two whites here, and two whites here, then you just perform the first part of the Y perm, and then you have your whole face complete. So, yes, um, also the Y perm is used for blind solving, so I reckon Y perm is probably one of my favorite algorithms for PLL. Um, so, yeah, again, I hope this video helped. If it did, give a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye.